So our very first, share my screen again, our very first speaker today is the incredible Bridget Bartley. She is a multifaceted entrepreneur, a nutrition and life coach. She is the chief people officer for the Sawyer Business Group with her husband, founder and CEO, Tony Sawyer. And as the best-selling author of another book, Energy of Happiness, Bridget has shared her journey of nutrition, of mindset, spiritual growth, and breathwork for more than 15 years. She's been featured in all kinds of publications, and this is before today, but Yahoo Finance, Huffington Magazine, Global Newswire, she was named one of the top 20 female entrepreneurs to look out for in 2023 by NYC Magazine, and she's going to be talking about Harmony Unleashed. So let me find her. There she is. Bridget, welcome. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you so much. Can you hear me? Can somebody give me a thumbs up? Okay, perfect. Um, such an honor to be here today. And um, as Rebecca said, I am Bridget Bartley Sawyer. And in preparing for what I wanted to share with you today, um, one thing that kept coming to me was the mom talk in Barbie. Who has seen the Barbie movie? Does anyone know about the mom talk? Did anyone else tear up <laughs> when you were watching that? But um, the mom talk, and, and I'll, I'll share a little bit of that, but that kept coming to me. Um, so I wanted to open and share a little bit of that with you, even if you've watched it, it's such a great reminder. But Gloria, who was the only female that worked at Mattel in the movie, she shares how it's literally impossible to be a woman. You are so beautiful and so smart, and it kills me that you don't think you're good enough. Like we have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing it wrong. You have to be thin, but not too thin. You can never say that you want to be thin. You have to say you want to be healthy, but you also have to be thin. You have to have money, but you can't ask for money. You're supposed to love being a mother, but you can't talk about your kids all the time. And you have to never get old, never be rude, never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear because it's just too hard. It's too contradictory and nobody gives you a medal or says thank you and it turns out that in fact not only are you doing everything wrong but everything is also your fault and like Gloria also shares I'm just so tired of watching myself and every single other woman tie herself into knots so that people will like us and that's just the abbreviated version of what Gloria share, shares and so today I want to talk about Ooh. Harmony Unleashed. So like, give me a hair hair. Balancing life because balance may not exist, but there is a counter balance. So, what is my story? Who is Bridget? We all have stories that make up our story. So, I want to share a glimpse into who I am and into my life. And just like Rebecca shared her trip to the ER, which was her wake up call, I had three events into my life that woke me up. Um, one was my oldest of three sons. He's 22 now, but he had some health challenges as a child. That was my wake-up call into nutrition and detox and living a holistic life. Um, a divorce after 15 years of marriage, because let's face it, no one ever marries to get divorced, right? Um, but through that three-year divorce um, and through that divorce, it taught me perseverance. It taught me forgiveness. It really put me in a position to define myself and who I was, um, but also an accident in July 2018. Um, I had an accident with a traumatic brain injury. Um, head injuries are no jokes. So if you've ever suffered for that, uh, feel in your pain, but it was through neurofeedback, which I'm still doing um, treatment for that, um, brain health, learning the power of rest. And as a driven type A female, resting is really challenging. Um, but through various things like acupuncture, infrared sauna, float tanks, IV infusions, Reiki, chiropractic, lots of detox and fasting, that really, those were the events that really showed me um, who I am today. And then of course, let's talk about our childhood, right? We all have events that happen in our childhood that we don't realize impacted who we are today. Um, and so one of the things I've learned through those various challenges is focus on the solution and not the problem. And that's one way that really helped me get through it. Um, another key lesson I learned um, and I'll talk about brain chemistry because, because of my traumatic brain injury or TBI, I learned a lot about the brain chemistry. And I think that's one thing that we forget about as we're going through life. We hear about the cortisol and the brainwave states, but things like that really make an impact in our lives. But really, I've really learned how balancing our lives and brain chemistry go hand in hand. 
um, when having a healthy lifestyle. And yes, you know, we talk about the nutrition and regular exercise and sleep and stress management, but in the chapter, when you read um, in creating space, I guide you in setting your priorities, allocating your time and energy effectively, and really helping you make choices that will promote your overall well-being and your overall happiness. Um, so let me geek out for just a second. Um, for those of you who know Enneagrams, I'm an Enneagram 5, so I have to share this. Um, we talk about this in the Pitch Club, but um, let me just geek out for a second and talk about the nervous system because this is really important. I know some of the ladies are probably going to tap on this later, but I want you to understand the underlying why with our brain, because between our brain and our spinal cord, it's com composed of like 86 billion neurons. And if we don't have that healthy communication within our brain and our spine and our bodies, it just throws so much off. And so why is our nervous system important? Well, fundamentally, it's our communication, it's our sensory input, it's our learning, our memory, our emotion. Um, what happens when it's out of balance? We have the physical symptoms. We go into fight or flight. We have headaches. We have neck pain. We have muscle tension, sleep problems. It weakens our immune system. We have high blood pressure. We have hormone imbalances. Um, what causes a dis, you know, like a, a dysregulated nervous system? Then we go into chronic stress. We go into trauma. We go into substance abuse, drinking, smoking, poor lifestyle choices. Um, and then what happens when we can regulate our nervous system? Well, we have more ease and flow and we have more calm and we're more peaceful. And that's really what we're aiming for, right? Um, and so what are some ways that we can regulate our nervous system? What are some ways that I did? And so I already shared candidly a glimpse of my personal journey in a few ways, how I created space for healing is self-love. But one of the things um, that really helped me was practicing meditation, traveling, and retreats and just a simple active daily movement. And those are three things that I wanted to share for you to just walk away with today. But meditation, so, so what is that? It allows you to slow down um, and it even prevents neurodegenerative diseases. Science is showing that. It reduces your blood pressure. Um, it's shown that people who meditate regularly um, can exhibit high levels of the gamma brain waves. And if, you, if you're more of the brain waves, you can look at it later. But um, gamma is your higher brain function, like your perception, your memory, and your cognitive. Um, but meditation also triggers your parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for your body's relaxation. And that's the space that we want to be in because we want to keep that stress and anxiety low. Um, and so just a simple way to incorporate meditation into your daily life, just aim for 10 minutes a day to make it achievable. Um, 10 minutes is better than none at all. So even if you have five minutes, just do 10 minutes. Um, and it doesn't have to be complicated. Um, just find a quiet space that's calm and quiet, sit in a comfortable posture. Um, you can sit or lie down, I prefer sitting. Um, just make sure your um, back and your neck are straight and just focus on your breath. Just close your eyes and take a few deep breaths and then you just breathe naturally and you just pay attention to your breath. And then you'll notice, I mean, your thoughts are going to wander because, right, we're juggling a hundred different things. So your thoughts are going to wander um, and just bring your focus back to your breath. And just like I said, start small five or 10 minutes a day and just be patient because meditation truly is a skill and it takes time to improve. Um, and you can also use guided meditations. Um, you can look on YouTube, there's Headspace, but th there's so many sources out there to help you meditate, but even just starting small like that. Um, in later day, you'll hear some girls talk about breath work. Um, that's super effective and a great practice as well. So definitely um, tune in when they share that. Um, and when meditating, you know, the goal so much isn't to clear your mind completely. It's really just to become more aware of your thoughts and your feelings. And so you'll find that over time, that the meditation will bring uh, more of a sense of calm and clarity and mindfulness to your life. Um, you'll see that one of the first signs when you're meditating is that you'll have a sense of heightened awareness. And that simply means that you become more aware of your surroundings and just owning your thoughts and your feelings. Um, the other thing that has been an outlet for me is travel. Um, travel has always been a medicine for my soul. I know travel is not for everyone, but it has just been a medicine for me since I was a teenager. Um, I'm actually in Naples, Florida right now in our condo on a family trip with my husband and my middle son and two of his friends um, on a fishing trip. 
And so for me, travel is escape from the demands of daily life. I don't have per se a house to clean. I don't have errands to run. And it's really, I'll own it like it's my way of running. It's, it's a way to just, again, escape those daily demands. Um, I believe that anywhere but home offers an opportunity to unplug and unwind and reconnect to our inner self. Um, and to the combination of new environments and like-minded people um, at retreats um, really has helped me foster that personal growth and self-discovery and just healing of the soul. Um, Cabo, Turkey, Israel has been the one that has really um, changed my life. Costa Rica, um, I'm even planning a retreat in Costa Rica next July. Um, but really just for traveling, like just imagine you have like no meetings, no schedule, no to-do list. Um, you're able to connect with people, building stronger friendships and journaling and meditation. Um, and understand that, again, not everyone can travel. When I was raising my three boys, I went through a season of about 12 years that I was a single mom, three kids. And, and my why at the time, and it still is, is I wanted to take them with me. Um, I can have this conversation separately. There are so many ways you can travel as a single parent with three kids, but you learn to travel and make do with what you have. But um, I would, I had a, a vision to take them with me to create memories with them. Um, but other ways at times that you can't travel for various reasons, another way that I would just create space for myself is just walking. It sounds so simple because it is. <laughs> um, I call it, it, it's a chill pill for the mind. Um, I love walking first thing in the morning. I love that fresh air first thing. There's, you know, scientific reasons of, you know, the sun hitting your eyes first thing in the morning, you know, what happens with sun rises. Um, but just walking, you know, aiming for 10,000 steps a day. If you want to take it up a notch, take 15,000 steps a day. Um, ways I like to be mindful with my walking is leaving my phone in my pocket, putting it in airplane mode. And just being present with myself and with walking and really paying attention to like the trees and the people and the cars and just being present. Um, one thing, if, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice I've, I put walks out there and I love to call it morning walks and God talks um, because a lot of stuff can come to me, even just being present. Um, and if you have small children, take them with you. Um, you know, a lot of time we don't know how we will heal, how we will create space or get to that next level. but I know that we are in times where we know that the path we are on isn't going to lead us to where we want to end. And so you'll find as the ladies share even later, there's different tools, different things out there. So just follow your intuition on how you feel you're being led to create your space. Um, and so as I finish, I'll just leave you with this. Um, just as a wound needs time to care and heal, so does your soul. And so give yourself the grace and the time. We've got to create time for ourselves as women, as moms, as entrepreneurs. Um, we have to give ourselves the grace and the time during the process to truly embrace the journey. Um, and so I'd love to chat with you more. Um, I'll be at the Pitch Club in three weeks in California. If you see me, I'd love to chat with you. Um, you can find more about the Pitch Club event um, on Instagram. It's the pitch.club. Um, and then you connect with me on Instagram as well. It's just Bridget.Bartley. Thank you, Bridget. Oh my gosh, such a good reminder. It's like, I, I like to go in the sauna every day and I just got, was in there today for an hour. I did breath work, but I'm like, oh, the meditation, the quieting. I think that's one of the most important things of creating space is just creating the quiet, right? Thank you so much. Um, and as Bridget mentioned, yes, in just a couple of weeks, we're going to be at Weekend at the Pitch Club. I'll drop in the ticket for that. Um, if you want to join us in San Diego, if you want to be in person, we're fun on Zoom, but we are so much more fun in person. And we'll have the authors will be there, the author copies of the book, and of course, so much more learning and growth and fun and space and magic.